Hi, I'm Rita Alvarez, and I'd like to share my painting process with you. Today I'm starting a new painting of the Sacramento River. It's on a 30 by 30 inch square canvas. I will be using Dear Friend photographs and the color study at the bottom of your screen. Even though the color study is of a different image, I want to point that out, it's still going to be very useful in helping me render the trees and getting the colors and atmosphere right. At this stage of the painting, I have my drawing done in pencil and I have begun to trace the lines with paintbrush and paint. I've increased the speed on the video so you can see the progress a lot faster. No, I don't really paint this fast. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, this step in the painting is very important. It does a couple of different things. One, it gives me a chance to correct and enhance my drawing that I've already done once in drawing. And now I enhance it in paint. And the other thing that it does is it seals the lead from the pencil to the canvas so later on when I'm adding paint, it won't get mixed in the paint and contaminate my colors. It's hard to imagine, but this painting is going to be a lot of fun. Wait until you see the colors and once it all comes together, I think you'll be as excited as I am. Okay, my line drawing is complete and I even took it a step further by adding a little bit of shadowing which is going to help me to imagine the depth I'm going to try to portray in this painting. So I've started applying color with the trees and the bushes on the right and now I am adding some sky color. The darkest color goes on the top and the lighter colors go towards the horizon. You can probably see the canvas shaking a little bit and that's because I'm really working hard to push that paint into my canvas. This canvas is a gallery wrap and you can see it goes all, the image goes all the way around. I like using that type of canvas so I don't have to frame every piece and my customer could do that later on at their convenience. Really large blank areas like where I'm working at now always use the biggest paintbrush that you can fit in that area and don't use a smaller brush until that large brush just won't work. That'll help keep you from overworking a certain area. Take your time, be patient, and don't give up until you get exactly what you want. The small areas that I'm filling in now could be a lot of fun because you get to see progress happen so quickly. The small spaces in between the branches are called sky holes. And remember, the smaller the sky hole, the darker. The, light, the bigger the sky hole, the lighter, because it lets more light in, and that's why it appears lighter. This brings us to the end of part one and the first half of the painting. Thank you for watching and I hope that you visit my blog site where you will find a new video every week and the second part of this painting.